in the 13th century for a period of around 60 years. So the stonemasons that were around for the beginning of the construction, they probably did not live to see the building being finished. And if you look around at the cathedral, you can see all of the arches are pointed, the tops of the doors, the tops of the windows. Of course, the man at the ball are these four arches above us underneath the crossing now. And they were shaped that way because it is the size of the space within these buildings. They were very tall, they were very broad buildings, so they pointed arch definitely in size that. But in between those four arches above us, you have these great clustered columns. And they hold the roof aloft. And in most Gothic cathedrals, they would run the length of the building. They'd run right down to the western end. But here in Cashel, you only have the four underneath the crossing tower. And that was for one very simple reason up here on the rock of Cashel. Limited space. The cathedral was built on top of a hill. There were earlier buildings here. The round tower over the north. Cormac's Chapel to the south. So for that reason, the typical layout had to be adapted to this cathedral. So there are no side aisles with this cathedral. Usually you'd have side aisles running down towards the western end. There's none here in the Rock of Cashel. Also, it is a building in the shape of a cross, but it is a cross the wrong way around. The nave down there is much shorter than the choir. Like behind me, typically the choir would be the shortest part where the altar was. The nave the congregation side would be the longest, but here in Cashel, the opposite is true. And it was the only way the cathedral could be built in the shape of a Latin cross and in between the earlier features.